Kamali taking you through some of the things people are talking about and some of the stuff they're sharing around the world on Newsfeed today. YouTube wake up, get some results. Solange Knowles gives the people what they want. Bridge ahoy, but can you guess what happens next? And animals doing stuff with two whales and some dolphins. Well, top of our newsfeed, hashtag YouTube wake up. And it seems they have. The video sites say they will ban all comments on videos which predominantly feature children under the age of 13. And they say they have a new tool with which they will identify and remove predatory comments. Here's a clunk YouTube has disabled comments from tens of millions of videos featuring young children in an attempt to prevent predatory behavior on the site. They're also launching software that could automatically detect and remove predatory comments. Over the past week, we disabled comments from tens of millions of videos that could be subject to predatory behaviour. These efforts are focused on videos featuring young minors and we will continue to identify videos at risk over the next few months. Over the next few months, we will be broadening this action to suspend comments on videos featuring young minors and videos featuring older minors that could be at risk of attracting predatory behaviour. The new policy means the comment section with videos of children under 13 would be automatically disabled. The issue was raised by Matt Watson, a video blogger who detailed how pedophiles could enter a wormhole of YouTube videos to see footage of children. Here, pedophiles are trading social media contacts. They're providing links to actual child porn in YouTube comments. They're trading unlisted videos in secret and YouTube's algorithm through some kind of glitch or error in its programming is actually facilitating their ability to do this. As a result of this video, which is viewed more than a million times, some advertisers had pulled ad spending from YouTube. In response, YouTube suspended several channels that leave children at risk of abuse. YouTube is also taking action on channels and videos that promote self-harming to children, sometimes in the middle of cartoon clips. YouTube Kids has repeatedly come under fire as parents discovered inappropriate videos. And now YouTube wants to make it clear they are taking the security of minors online seriously. The CEO tweeted, Recently, there have been some deeply concerning incidents regarding child safety on YouTube. Nothing is more important to us than ensuring the safety of young people on the platform. Millions of hours of footage are uploaded every day to the video sharing website, and cleaning up of some of this content is a big challenge. It's clear the YouTube wake-up movement from users has gained momentum, and so has the company's priority to deal with inappropriate content. Next up, Michael Jackson's old ranch Neverland is for sale again at a huge discount, just $33 million. Its bargain listing comes just three days before a HBO documentary that will rock the Jackson world. Leaving Neverland is the story of two men who say they were abused by Jackson when they were children. They had previously accepted millions of dollars from Jackson to keep their story quiet. And Oprah Winfrey says after the HBO special airs, she will broadcast a show called After Neverland where she interviews the two men who accused Jackson of assault. All right, let's take a look at some of the other things that have caught our eye on social media. And Solange has dropped her new album. It's called When I Get Home. It's 19 tracks long, 39 minutes of solid, sweet, soulful music. I'm on my third listen, and I recommend you make your weekend and give it a listen too. the top trend on Twitter for quite a while and will be Beyonce's Baby Sister's fourth studio album. These t-shirts worn by celebrities and others were made at a factory in Bangladesh which exploits its employees. An investigation by The Guardian discovered the Girl Power t-shirts were made at the Dirt Composite Textiles factory which pays its staff as little as 50 cents 
an hour. Most of the factory's employees are women and girls. The website selling the teas for just over $30 a top have removed them from sale. A guy who drove into a flood and had to be rescued had video of that rescue go viral. It was also played out live on Israeli networks. As it happened, the flash flood was just outside Jerusalem. And while the emergency services took great care to get him to safety, the guy took even greater care, as you can see, to keep his phone safe. If only he thought that much about keeping himself safe before he drove into the flood. And take a deep breath. Scientists say the oxygen is running out of the ocean. The latest in a litany of terrible discoveries about the marine ecosystem. Now, the Helmholtz Center for Ocean Research has found that oxygen levels in the water in some tropical regions is down by 40% in just the last half century. Deoxygenation is the largest threat to sea animals. Not only is breathing essential to survival, the drop forces them to move into new habitats, exposing new predators and also changing their behavior. Climate change and man-exacerbated global warming explained. Now, the fight against climate change, some say, should begin with us. Recently, Turkey banned plastic bags and introduced recycling centers in some stores and metro stations to encourage people to participate. Now, small steps can make a big difference. And here's how one woman who is running a sustainable living website in Istanbul is trying to do her part. Will you explain why we don't like to use plastic? Because it's bad for the environment, it's bad for humans and animals. Hello, welcome to our home, where we are trying to waste less and aiming towards a zero waste, conscious living life. Most important things in a less waste household are the rubbish bins. This is our rubbish bin. It's just a little bit of tissues in there from my daughter's nose wiping. This is our recycle bin. We use, um, I use a, pl a plastic bag which comes with the toilet rolls that we, we buy. And the third and the most important bin that we have is my favorite. I love my compost bin. Do you want to have a look inside? The first place that I started with, and I think is the easiest first stage, is to get rid of having single-use disposable water bottles or other forms of drink. So we use these, it's things like this. We have several different kinds. When we go to the market, um, we have to be armed with various containers. So we've got our bags. I'm just throwing into this shoulder bag and we're ready to go and do some shopping. So I always try and buy from local producers and um, these guys are brilliant. They have the most wonderful pro uh, produce. I'm gonna buy some, uh, some fresh bread. And I like to buy from this, these guys the, their bread because it's very healthy. No, pochettes is Lutven, pochette is Demur. So as usual, they try and give me a bag. So, what we do is we just give our bags a bit tiny turn. Huh? But give me two of a little more. Give me two of a One of the things that I've personally embraced since becoming more aware of the concept of conscious living is that we have virtually eradicated meat eating in our home. However, when we do buy meat, uh, I make sure to bring my own container. We went to the market, we did some shopping. We're very lucky here in uh, Turkey because there's a lot of produce sold um, without packaging. This house is not a zero waste house. I really admire people who can manage that. This is a journey and we are part way along it. If you can just do one thing, whatever that thing is, do it. It's important. People say, oh, what does my one bottle mean? What does it matter? Well, it does. One bottle matters because when you add them all up, that's billions. One bag matters because when you add them all up, apparently it's trillions. It's impossible to even imagine how many that is. So it's not hard. Why don't you try it? Thank you, Jody. I think I will. Let's go around the world now for some other stories you need to know this Friday. Now, civil liberties groups in Canada are worrying that a scheme 
that links up information held on vulnerable people between the police, the social services, teachers and local government uh, is at risk of uh, causing people to be tracked. It's being used in at least two provinces. The system allows the services to access a database of individual, uh, individuals' risk factors, including drug abuse, abusive behaviour and past arrest records. While police say it's helpful in some dangerous situations, privacy groups say it infringes people's rights. A doping scandal has hit another sport. Well, sport may be a stretch. The world's bridge champion has been suspended by the International Olympic Committee. Bridge, that card game that old people play. Gear Helgemo tested positive for synthetic testosterone and clomiphene, which Google tells me is a female fertility drug. It's not clear how these drugs give him an advantage at bridge. His suspension will expire in November. And speaking of bridge, this massive container ship crashed into one in South Korea. As you can see, the bridge is pretty hard to miss. Now, the ship was captained by a, a Russian, and the Moscow Times report that he may well have been drunk at the time. You think? And these pictures of a super bloom of golden poppies are cheering people in California. The large numbers of bright flowers have come out because the area has had heavier than usual winter rain. And of course, people have been heading there in droves to get snaps for the gram. Now, film was celebrated at the Oscars earlier in the week, but did you know there was also a big and very important film festival in West Africa this week? Well, now you know. Have a look. Nous vous aimons. Nous vous aimons parce que nous aimons notre pays, le Burkina Faso. Nous vous aimons parce que nous aimons notre continent. Nous vous aimons parce que nous aimons l'Afrique. Les Some great films featured there and we'll put details of them in the show notes. Now in our animals doing stuff we take you to the coast of Florida in the United States. Now this mother and a calf right well were spotted making mates with some dolphins which I guess is quite unusual. The National Ocean Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration say they've spotted seven new right well calves this season which is great news for the species which is quite endangered. And that's all from the Newsfeed team. Reach out to me with your questions, comments, complaints, and suggestions. I'm at Kamali Melbourne. You'll find us 24 seven on Twitter and YouTube, and you can follow me on Instagram if you want. Follow, subscribe, and add. See you again very soon.